And here we go. This is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. Kind of cloudy, kind of drizzling. But I'll take it. I will take it. It's not 90 degrees. It's not 80% humidity. It's a nice, cool, winter, cloudy day. Maybe we'll get some sunshine later on, but at the moment, I don't think it's going to happen. Listen, I was watching some of the comments on at the World Economic Forum, the WEF, and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm a little bit, really, I'm kind of pissed off. We have got to get away from this, this woke culture where people want to cancel you out because they don't believe in the way that you are talking. They don't believe in your statements. They don't. They think that your statements are, are not in agreement with theirs. So they want to cancel you out. They want to cut you down. And that's what we have seen a lot of at at this WEF forum. We have CEOs and executives and members of Congress and members of the Senate and members of of uh, nations all meeting. And talking, and it's all about how they can control you and me. When we get into this the situation where businesses are trying to cancel out other businesses, then we don't have a we don't have people in charge that are making good decisions. If their decisions are based upon political decisions. Because you don't, they do not agree with what you are saying or what I'm saying. They want to cancel you out. If they think that you are producing misinformation, disinformation, they want to cancel you out. Unfortunately, what we have found through Twitter, all of this, this claims of disinformation has become good information, truthful information. And as we look at the Twitter accounts being being uh, produced by Twitter and Elon Musk, we are seeing that a lot of the things that people were talking about are now coming true. We have now seen the unethical acts of the FBI and, and members of Congress trying to shut down people's voices. Because they don't believe in the same freedom of speech that you and I believe in. Because you and I believe that we can say everything that we want to that's on our mind as long as it's not hurting other people. But we can say what's on our mind. We can say we believe in the Constitution. We can say that we don't believe in uh, COVID vaccinations. We can say these things. We are supposed to be able to say these things. We are supposed to be able to debate. We are supposed to be able to get feedback from people across this world. There's an individual, and he runs one of the biggest public relations company in in the world. And he has offices all over the world. His name is Richard Elderman. And he's CEO. And what he said and I've put the clip of his statement down below. And what he said, he was telling businesses that are there to deprive social media platforms that spread disinformation of oxygen. Stop advertising, pull your promotion ads. The Twitter boycott has had a modest impact, but the Facebook one failed. So here you have these executives out there who are trying to destroy other people's businesses. And Twitter is a business. Facebook is a business. Because they think that you are putting misinformation out there. Disinformation on COVID, 
on drugs, on politics. They do not agree with the U.S. scene. In fact, they don't agree with me even speaking out against the World Economic Forum. They want to shut you down. And they want to hurt businesses. They feel that those advertising dollars are what will drive these companies into bankruptcy. Shut them down. Because they want to pull that company over and say, you either do what we say or we'll destroy you with our advertising dollars. We'll take them away. Richard Elderman is a very dangerous individual. This cancel culture of businesses trying to hurt other businesses has got to start, stop. It has got to stop right now. Because it is doing too much damage around this world. Because people want to cancel other people's opinions out. The World Economic Forum is a very dangerous situation there. They want to make sure that everybody has that shot in their arm. They want to make sure that you are pulling the political tide that they want you to think, breathe, act. The World Economic Forum is being led by individuals who are very dangerous to the world. We have a problem where... Businesses become woke. They become politically ingrained with an ideology that they have to be in control. These are individuals who have lost their minds. Basically, they have lost their minds because now they want to attack other businesses. They want to attack you. They want to attack our ability to speak and express our opinions. Well, I'm expressing my opinion right now. This guy has lost it. To be saying, pull your advertising dollars. Like he's God. He's God in the business world. And he thinks, I can destroy you because I've got your money in my hand with my clients. You know what? Those clients should leave that guy. He is making bad economic decisions based on woke politics. And that is unethical. You see, the problem is, we have had too many companies like Coca-Cola and Delta Airlines and Twitter and YouTube. I mean, not YouTube. Yeah, YouTube and, and Facebook and all these companies who have dealt in and became politicized. They've become woke and it has hurt even their businesses because Americans look at it and say, well, wait, hold back one moment. Something does not smell good here. Because you're trying to shut down my voice. You're trying to shut down the companies I do business with. You're trying to destroy other people's lives. Highly unethical. The board of directors of a lot of these companies need to sit down and re-examine their ethic policies that run their business. Because what we're seeing is a lot of unethical activity from CEOs and senior members of management on the way that they treat people, on the way that they treat other individuals, on the way they treat businesses, because they don't agree with your statements. They don't agree with your speech. They don't agree. They want to silence you. That's a very dangerous situation to be in. When we, we even have members of Congress that are trying to shut down people's voices on Twitter and probably even on Facebook, we don't know because that's not open up to us to see. But we know what's happening with Twitter because we've seen it. We've seen Adam Schiff try to shut people down. We've seen these politicians become very woke. They're no longer representing the American people. They're representing their political agenda. But I'm concerned about business because business never used to be this way. If a company was bad, they failed financially. If they were doing the wrong things at business, they failed financially. 
and another stronger company came in and took over. But you never had a business try to destroy the other business because of politics, because of wokeness, because of trying to destroy people's voices. Seen it at Disneyland. It's never worked out. And then they have the, the balls to get up before the World Economic Forum and says, this is what we've got to do. We've got to pull our advertising money. That's a dangerous person. The World Economic Forum is a dangerous organization and we have got to monitor it very closely because it could do damage to the freedoms of Americans and around the world, basically. But I'm more concerned with America because we have it happening from members of Congress. We have it, have it happening from the FBI. We have it happening from the White House. We have it happening all over the world where people are trying to shut us down. Cancel us out. Wipe us off from existence. If it wasn't for freedom of speech, this nation would never have been formed. They got up one day and they said, we're no longer going to take the king's decrees. We're no longer going to take the church's power over us. We're no longer going to be in poverty. We are going to go out and find a new world where we can have a democracy, where we can get up and, and deliver and build, create new businesses, new families, new homes, new farms, new manufacturing plants. So they all, they got into a boat and they came over to this country. Some of them, some of them didn't make it, but they, they tried as hard as they could. And finally the, the boats landed here and they began to form colonies. And now look at us today. We, from a small young nation... We don't have the world experience of all the other European nations out there who have been around for a long, long time. No, we are a very small, young country. But yet we, 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 were, so, we were so engulfed in our freedoms and the way that we wanted to run this country and the freedom of speech that we did everything that we could to build. We fought the British. We, the French came in and helped us. I mean, go back and review the history. Yes, we've made some mistakes along the way. But look at us today. We are a world leader and everybody is afraid of us being strong. And we have business leaders now acting like dictators. Trying to shut us down, trying to cancel us out, trying to cancel out Twitter based on a political belief, a wokeness. This has got to stop. We are a great country, but sometimes we have some dumb leaders. And right now we have a whole bunch of dumb leaders in Washington, D.C. and a whole bunch of dumb leaders in business. And if the board of directors don't start taking back control of their companies and focus on business instead of being woke, instead of being politically driven, businesses will fail. Listen, if you would like to have more access to me, go to www.lodge-co.com. If you would like to support my podcast, if you like my podcast, Go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge, L-O-D-G-E. i great to have you there. I have my blogs there. I blog every, every day there. I look forward to seeing you there. Everybody go out and have a great day. God bless. Take care.